Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Microsoft Word is a powerful word processing program. You can use it to create documents, resumes, newsletters, and just about anything else you can imagine. When you open Word, there's a good chance you'll be taken to the Start screen first. From here you can access recent documents or create something new, either from scratch or from a template. In this example, we'll click Blank Document. Next, you might want to take a minute to explore the interface and make sure you know your way around. Why don't we begin with the ribbon, which is the collection of tools and features at the top of the screen. The ribbon is divided into tabs like Design, Insert, and Home, so you can easily find what you're looking for. There are also commands on each tab that have been organized into groups. For example, if you look closely at the font group, you'll find it has everything you need to work with text, including options like bold, italics, font color, and size. Some groups even have an arrow in the bottom right corner that you can click to view even more commands. If you ever feel like the ribbon is taking up too much space, you can always hide or minimize it. All you have to do is click the arrow in the upper right corner, then choose the option you want. Also in the upper right corner is a place where you can access your Microsoft account. Here you can update your photo, manage your account settings, or switch to a different account altogether. For help creating documents, take a look at the Tell Me feature. It works just like a regular search bar, allowing you to quickly find the right tool or command. All you have to do is enter what you want, and you'll be given a list of options. You can use the command directly from the menu without having to find it on the ribbon. You can even customize your copy of Word to make certain commands more convenient. Take the Quick Access toolbar in the upper left corner. This area gives you access to frequently used commands like Save and Undo, no matter where you are in the ribbon. To add more commands, just click the tiny arrow next to the toolbar, then choose the ones you want. I'm going to add New and also Quick Print because I use both of these commands pretty frequently. Now let's take a look at the work area itself. That's the space in the center where you'll actually create and edit documents. In this example, I've opened a report that I'm working on. In the bottom left corner, you'll find your current page number and word count. At the top and to the left, you should see two small rulers. These make it easier to adjust your document and control the layout of your text. To show or hide the rulers, go to the View tab, then check or uncheck the box next to Ruler. In the bottom right corner, you'll find a few more tools that let you change the way your document is displayed. Here's what they look like up close. To zoom in or out, click and drag the zoom control. The number next to the slider will tell you what the zoom percentage is. You can also switch between different document views using these three icons. Read mode opens the document full screen. This view is great for reading large amounts of text or simply reviewing your work. Print layout is the default. It shows you what the document will look like on the printed page. Web layout displays the document as a web page. This can be useful if you're actually using Word to publish content to the web. Last but not least, I'd like to give you a quick tour of the Backstage view. You can get there by clicking the File tab. Just look for it on the far left of the ribbon. Here you can access all kinds of information related to your current document and more. This includes commands like New, Open, Save, and Print. All you have to do is click an item, and it'll open in the right pane. This makes it easy to find what you're looking for and review your options all in one place. That covers the basics of Microsoft Word. Now that you're comfortable with the interface, including the backstage view, the ribbon, and the work area, you're ready to start your first document. Mm -hmm.